So in this video, I'm going to quickly show you how to do a repeated measures analysis of variance using R Studio. There's other videos that show you how to download and install R Studio and even how to use it. So I have videos doing an analysis in R Commander and Jupyter Notebook, and so I'm going to show you how you can do the same thing in R Studio if you want to. So the first thing you're going to do is load some packages that we're going to use. So we're going to use AFX, so you just click it and it loads. Then you're going to use Dippler. You're going to click it and it's going to load as well. So these are two packages. The AFX does the analysis of variance. The Dippler allows you to filter your data set. So we're going to import data set. We're going to go right to the top option. We're going to select the file. And I have to navigate to the file that I'm going to upload. It's just a CSV file. You click open and you get this option. It shows you what the file looks like. So it's comma delimited. And here's what it's going to look like when it loads it in. And that's the way we want it to look. I'm going to call it, make it simpler and call this data one. This is the name of our data frame, comma separated. You can check all these things. You, I'm going to use uh, NA for missing variables, strings as factors. We definitely want that. You click import and there's your data. It's in there. Now we can look at the structure. Let me go down here to the console. You can look at the structure of the data frame. This is really important to always review. And you can see that like in Jupyter Notebook, we our sub ID is not recognized as a factor. We want to change that as a factor. So what we're going to do is type a command. Hold on just a second. So we're going to type a command. So we start with the data frame. Oh, get the cursor working. Data frame. Data one. We're going to use dollar sign, and then we type the um, variable that we want to. Uh, alter here, alter the coding, and we're going to use our, and we're going to make it, e make it equal to um, as dot factor data frame one, comma, oops, data frame one, dollar sign sub ID. So this will change it, and if you push up on the arrow key, you can get your commands back before, and now you can see that sub ID is now indeed a factor. Next thing we want to do is filter the data. So as you can see, we have hits, misses, correct rejections, and false alarms. So misses and false alarms, those are errors on a recognition test, so we want to sort those out. We're going to filter those out and just analyze correct responses. This is a common sort of thing. Maybe you just want to analyze part of your data set. So the way we're going to do this is create a new data frame. So we're going to type data2. We're going to call it data frame2. And what we're going to do is we're going to filter data frame1. And we're going to filter it for item. This is case sensitive. And then we're going to sort of use the or command here, item. You have to use the double equals correct projection, and we should get, and we do get data frame number two. Now you could click here and look at it. So if we click here, we'll see data frame two, and you can see that it's missing. You could also type down here, you could just type data two, and it'll list it for you in your console window here, and you can see that misses and false alarms are now filtered out. So now what we want to do is use our analysis of variance command, and so I'm just going to hop over here, because it's a lot of typing, and paste this in. And so this is the same uh, AFX command that we used before. So we're creating analysis of variance using the AOVEZ command. Sub ID, is, or the first variable here is your subject identification variable. Next variable is your dependent variable, the data frame, and then you identify your design. In this case, it's within subjects. Two variables, test and item, are both within subjects. This nice command here just allows the output, allows you to get partial eta squared for an effect size and to do geyser greenhouse corrections for non-sphericity. So we're just going to do both of those right at the same time. And you can see that there's our analysis of variance. Now, one thing that's missing are the group means. So you have to compute those, but we can compute those with a little command over here. So I'm going to type this in, or actually just paste it in. So we're taking data frame two and we're grouping it by our variables. And we're summarizing by co computing sort of the mean pr proportion variable standard deviation and giving you the frequency. And then we'll put output it in that A means. Now you don't see anything because you have to type the A means value to see it. But once you type it, you see the table uh, right there. 
So that's all there is to it. That's the same analysis we did in R Commander and Jupyter Notebook doing repeated measures. Hope you found this helpful.